SABA stands for Stereotactic Ablative Body Radiotherapy, um, which is a, just a, a fancy name really for a newer technique of radiation. So the radiotherapy is given very precisely, um, usually to a very defined target, the, the tumour, um, and it usually uses multiple radiation beams. And um, one of the key advantages that SABA offers um, for patients with pancreatic cancer is the um, ability to receive treatment over a much shorter period of time with much less hospital visits and burden to patients. It's only more recently, um, in the last um, five to 10 years really, that there's been much more focus on using it for pancreatic cancer. So the reason that um, it's been, this treatment has um, been commissioned for um, what we term locally advanced pancreatic cancer. And that refers to tumors that are in the pancreas that um, haven't spread outside the local region. So, but these are tumors that are not removable by surgeries. So it's this group of patients um, who would typically at the moment be offered chemo radiation treatment um, that SABA has come online as an alternative treatment. The reason that we don't offer this treatment to all patients is, for example, if you have got metastatic disease, so cancer that has um, spread outside the pancreas to other sites, then we know really chemotherapy is going to be the main treatment that's going to be um, most helpful in controlling the cancer because it works all over the body. I guess it's also important to say that not every single patient with locally advanced disease will be suitable for this treatment. So it would involve a discussion with um, your oncologist. So it, um, it came about really um, due to, um, well, collaboration, which is often the, the key to um, making things happen. During the pandemic, um, then um, one of the issues was obviously trying to reduce as much as possible patients' visits to hospital. And then we were all agreed that really the optimal treatment, if we had access to it, would be to give Sabre for suitable patients. And that really spurred us to... Um, get on and put, put in an application to NHS England to ask them to consider this, making this available to um, patients. So we really wanted to get patients views on um, this treatment and whether this is something that they would um, be interested in if it was available and um, patients, you know, they have insights that they offer us insights that um, as physicians, we, we, you know, we don't automatically have. So that's really key. So um, Pancreas Cancer UK were really kind to help us um, with your um, research network um, and that um, the two things that were really important to them or that they saw as key advantages, which we also would agree as an oncologist is, is not having to attend hospital as much. So reducing the burden of treatment. And the other messages that they gave really clearly were that um, they thought felt it was very important with this new treatment that, there, that this was rolled out lots of um, training and that this was going to be given in a really high quality way and um, so that was really helpful for us to hear that feedback. I mean I think the really key message is that this is a really exciting development but it is also really important that we make sure that it's introduced safely and in a controlled way. So um, it's going to be rolled out slowly, it's exciting times, um, and hopefully this will be a springboard to, um, to, to bigger and better future developments um, in radiation delivery for pancreatic cancer.